Hi, beautiful ones. So I'm here for another forecast. Oh, so as I was feeling into this new moon in Pisces coming up on the 10th of March, um, so it's happening at in the sign of Pisces at 20 degrees and 16 seconds at 9 a.m. GMT time. Uh, I was feeling, you know, Pisces is a water sign, right? It's mutable, which means it's flexible. And it's really about tapping into our intuition. And many of us, you know, if you've been following me, many of you are artists or visionaries, you really have an abundance of intuitive abilities. And I feel like this new moon is really saying, right, it's time to really trust in those abilities. And what I'm getting is intuitively now is you don't have to have a qualification. You don't have to have a certificate in that, you know, if it's a healing modality you've learned yourself or you've been practicing meditation for years, you can still use that. Use your gifts. So this is a a reminder this new moon to really step up, share your gifts, share your your wisdom from that space. Because, you know, I have loads of gifts that are that are natural. I, I have never trained in meditation, but yet I guide meditations and have been for years. It just comes naturally to me. So we really want to tap into those qualities as artists, as um, sensitive souls, because actually you know, the gift of Pisces is about that sensitivity um, that that we have. And I've been hearing a lot recently, and I myself have been feeling a lot more open, you know, that the deeper we go, the more we do this work, energetic work and the healing work, actually, the more we are in connection with those intuitive abilities, and actually our sensitivity is heightened, because then we're able to go deeper within ourselves and hold a safer, deeper space for others, right? So it's something I've been hearing recently is, is people have been having a rough time recently. And it is probably also because Neptune is in Pisces. So at the time of this new moon, Pisces is already ruled by Neptune. So that is the, the sensitivity. Neptune also represents... Um, inspiration and our imagination so we have to be careful as well because of the sensitivity we really need to make sure we're protecting ourselves energetically I can't stress this more because this was a game changer for me and sometimes I still forget to do it but I notice the difference so just make sure you are protecting your energy if that is saging yourself down um or imagining a beautiful bubble of white light. I've probably said this before. Um, and you can call on your guides or whoever to protect you and just have that golden sphere, that purple sphere, whatever you want to imagine, and imagine it is protecting your energy. Because if you are a sensitive soul, and I know, <laughs> the world can feel really heavy, right? And that then leads to us feeling overwhelmed and then us needing a lot more rest, right, to, to reset our nervous system, which is something, you know, I I also want to stress is, stress, that's not the right word, is to remind you that if you are a sensitive soul, there is nothing wrong with resting, okay? Sensitive souls, highly sensitive, whatever you want to call it, we need more rest than other people, and it's not that we're better, we just, our nervous system is constantly receiving things like an antennae, and we need to be clearing that energy. So if, as well, if you can create some sort of clearing practice, listen to a meditation on a daily basis, just so that you can be that clear channel, you know, for an artist, you are here to channel those ideas and visions, but we we can't do that so easily if we're clogged up with everyone else's energy and emotion. So make sure you're doing that. Um, and obviously with the new moon, it's a new beginning. So we've got this, this beautiful energy is like, right, my new beginning, what am I going to focus on? 
Um, and I want to say happy birthday to the Pisces because we are in Pisces season as well till the 20th of March. Um, you know, Pisces really brings this gentle, gentle quality to the world. Um, and I get it. I've got Pisces rising. So there is this gentleness. So we've got to also, you've got to also watch your boundaries. Yeah, you've got to be, as I said, energetic, but also emotional. Make sure you're taking care of you. And I feel like with this new moon, there is um, an opportunity for a new vision to be birthed. Maybe it's a new vision for your life, depending where that Pisces new moon is falling in your chart. And an opportunity to delve into deeper self-compassion. You know, that, that people, a lot of that Piscean energy can be about, right, how do I be of service to the other? And everything is connected. Then we can forget about ourselves and go into that self-sacrifice, which is not healthy. So just recognize when you're going into that and pull yourselves out and go, what, what do I need right now? How can I nourish myself and sink deeper into that self-compassion? And it's a big thing on this journey. We need to learn to put ourselves first. It's not selfish. But you, dear sensitive souls, need to do this even more. Um, like net resting is what I mean. So, yeah, this is also a really good time to take a leap of faith. You know, if you have this soul calling about an idea or like a, a painting project or whatever it is that you feel is ready to be birthed, really trust that, really lean into it and put your energy into it at this new moon you know and as, as I always say the new moon like we only get that tiny bit of light so three or four days after so it'll be like the 13th or 14th of March is when the seeds we planted in that darkness will start to grow so you can really use those three or four days to start um, giving momentum to this this vision or idea you have so it's exciting um and particularly visual artists really take advantage of this because, you know, most artists are very intuitive and very in touch with their emotions and their sensations they receive. So really, maybe it's like you've got a vision for a painting and you're not sure how it's going to come through. Trust that feeling, you know, initiate the painting and then come back to what is the feeling I'm getting what is the next step really you could almost really it could be inspired painting where you're not doing anything it just feels like it's flowing through you really easily so this is a good time for inspiration to flowing you know it might be easier for us to access that flow state and we can paint or draw whatever we're doing for for ages so to, you know use that energy um and at this this new moon we've got a lot of mutable and fixed energy so the mutable is the flexible the adapting and the fixed is you know stabilizing us so it's a nice balance because it's like whatever we're putting into motion there's a flexibility at this new moon to go oh maybe i explore this idea and actually i want to look over here as well but there's an opportunity to really ground it if we if we create structures for this idea. It doesn't have to be rigid, but we really need some sort of container for our um, you know, for our creativity to flow. So think of it as the masculine and feminine. We need the masculine to to contain the idea, you know, to make it tangible. Um and then we've got Mars in a square to Uranus. So this is a funny one. There may be like a bit of tension or there's a sort of sense of restlessness. Uranus can be like, oh, got to keep got to keep moving, um, which is very quite different to this Pisces moon that is flowing and soft and gentle. So just notice if there's like, you're feeling agitated or annoyed at something notice what what is underneath that um and there may be like something unexpected is surfacing some surprise or something out of the blue that comes 
into your life and it and it really ungrounds you so just make sure that you're if you feel ungrounded because as well pisces energy can unground us it's very visionary energy it's about the feeling but we can also get stuck in the head so we want to make sure that we're grounded connecting with our body because pisces does not like to be in the body as i know well so we need to you know make sure you do those grounding practices or go into nature to make sure you're grounding these visions into your body so you may feel like you're with that uranus there may feel like your inner security is being threatened threatened in some way don't worry it's you, know, you might feel it for a few days um and sometimes we need to kind of we need friction to grow and to see what what that friction is is showing us so stick with it um and then although Uranus is a bit tricky there, the new moon is actually in a sextile to Uranus. So there's a sense of if you've taken leaps of faith, um, it could be in the past moon cycle or before even, there's a sense that things might come to fruition now. So that Uranus in Taurus, Taurus is about security, um, can be finances and also resources. So it may be that that leap of faith you've taken, which was a bit, um, could have been unpredictable, something you're seeing, something grow, maybe it's your finances or some somebody's coming to you with the resources that you need. Um, and there's a sense of like our, our self-belief might be stronger at this time. So it's, it's easier for us to trust and step into the unknown. So really work with this energy to you know birth that idea that you've got um yeah and you know pisces is a fluid it is a, it is an adaptable energy so be be movable um but know when right enough is enough i need to recharge my energy this is this is what pisces needs to learn how to have energetic boundaries, right? This is this is my emotion and this is yours. But there are also so many gifts of Pisces, the sensitivity, the, the intuition. So trusting that at this new moon and seeing what is simmering away for you. And I'd love to hear, you know, what new visions and dreams are, are being, are you going to birth? Are you going to channel Put your energy into it this new moon i'd love to hear do share in the comments below and if you're here and you're really enjoying these forecasts please hit the subscribe button this helps me to get to reach more people really appreciate it um thanks for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye